Embattled State Representative Matt Shea is in trouble once again. Just got an almost $5,000 cleaning bill from the state for damages he's accused of causing during a Satanist event at the state capitol. King 5's Drew Mickelson has surveillance video and reaction from a Satanist who says he saw the whole thing. It was our way of saying that we're here. Among the 50 or so Satanists demonstrating on the Capitol steps March 6th was Justin Harvey, John Ashby. Some lady came up and started touching me. I got holy water thrown on me. I don't know what's in that water. He was surprised by counter protesters praying, yelling, and trying to interrupt the Satanists. One of those counter protesters, State Representative Matt Shea, seen here on surveillance video carrying a bottle of olive oil out to the event, was followed by members of the Christian Crusaders Motorcycle Ministry. Ashby describes what he saw Shea do. But uh, he like was mumbling a prayer, and then I see he dumped out the oil on the steps. Why would you do those? That's a safety concern primarily. Like, what is wrong with you? We are obeying the Constitution. They are not. Representative Shea, a Republican from Spokane Valley, critical of the governor's stay-at-home order just Don't last weekend, hesitate. was asked to resign by fellow lawmakers from both parties last year after an investigation determined Shea organized and participated in acts of domestic terrorism. I didn't realize that it went this far. The March incident wasn't terrorism, but state investigators determined Shea poured out the olive oil on the Capitol steps, damaging historic pieces of marble and sandstone. He was sent a bill for more than $4,700 for cleanup and repairs. Are you glad the state has sent him this bill? Yes. I believe that he should be punished for disregarding the public safety and and destroying public property. Ashby says it's nice. The Satanists aren't the ones under fire for a change. Hell yeah, I'm excited about that. Matt Shea has not commented on the cleaning bill. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.